You know that some cyclists in the Tour de France had blood that's so viscous and so thick that their heart rates were like 30 to 35 beats per minute, and when they slept, it would drop below 30, so they were at risk of death because their blood was so efficient at carrying red blood cells. So they would have to get up in the middle of the night to start riding their bike to get their blood flowing and their heart pumping, otherwise they could die in their sleep. But the YouTube comment on that video was straight up, now that's what I call ride or die. I have pretty viscous blood as well, except instead of platelets, it's just bacon bits. <laughs> <laughs> it's just bacon bits and gravy pumping through Grouse's veins. <laughs> bacon bits and corn syrup, you mean. Spiders! Spiders! Spider stuff! Dauntless, the world's most terrifying safari adventure that I take extremely seriously. <laughs> I don't think you understand. How chiseled his jawline is. I can't keep it together looking at this dude's face. He's just so... Oh, God. And I know you may be thinking... Are you even good at this game? Well, yes, but actually, no. Yar. But I hope you stick around anyway. With I mean, each emote, I grow stronger. You cowards will never stop me. Three quick things. One, thank you to Dauntless for sponsoring this video. Plenty of you out there already know it's a blast of a game, and you can play it for free via the link below. Two, I do already have a previous video on Dauntless that goes over the class classes and basics, which I recommend you start with. And three, stop goat violence. They're domesticated animals, not trampolines. And I've had enough. You guys disgust me. Stop bouncing on that goat. <laughs> no. Stop bouncing on the goat for the love of God. Go. Stop. For the love of Neptune. Actually, you know what? I don't, I don't really care. Since he clearly doesn't care, I don't think I care either now. He, he could not care less. The other animals of Dauntless are giant behemoths that are consuming the energy that your world desperately needs to survive. So unlike Earth, where we try to keep species from going extinct, in this world, we're trying to catapult species into extinction as fast as humanly possible. What I said earlier is like, yo, I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to kill some endangered species. It's like, they're not in <laughs> danger. They're quite literally consuming our planet. We want they to bow to be. Ones. They bow to be. <laughs> <laughs> and as a slayer, you're tasked with crushing the behemoth threat and saving the Shattered Isles from complete and utter annihilation. So putting it simply, you're their only hope. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my you. Don't I look so concerned about the future? I look like an opossum in human form. Dude, you look like your head got stuck in a vice. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike last time, we decided to bring a ringer to the party, a slayer that was constantly playing Dauntless in my Discord that is quite literally the most frightening hunter I have ever laid eyes on, known simply as... Floop. The legendary, the almighty, Floop. And you see like a little <laughs> picture that's not even cropped correctly on the Discord. <laughs> where, where are you from? Geographically, no. where, where, where are you from? He's from Sweden. Norway? Yeah. Sweden. Okay. So, uh, that would explain why you don't use guns. Are you from Norway or are you from Sweden? <laughs> yes. We decided to start with a lesser Nasher to see if Floop was really about that action. And for those of you that don't know what a lesser Nasher is, it's basically a beaver punching bag. Oh my god, you so much damage, Floop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the X for you. I love how the lesser Nasher just exists to get curb stomped over and over. My rifle knife goes. How do I slice, reload slice, the slice and Dodge! Yes! If if there's one thing that I love more than making monsters endangered, it's invincibility frames. I played enough of nondescript action RPG from 2011 to know a lot about iframes. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb bitch. I love your graciousness and victory, Grouse. Damn, there's an S++ rank? I don't remember Hell getting yeah. this our first time. Absolute chat. That's because <laughs> we didn't have Floop on our team. God, Floop. The absolute mad lad. That proved that Floop was no joke. He was putting out mad deeps, raking behemoths the part like graham crackers, which led us to ask him for advice on how to do it ourselves. Floop, oh what is good deeps? How do I know I'm not doing shitter deeps right now? Fucking, I don't know. Okay, ace at killing monsters, not so ace at giving advice, but that's okay. I was already distracted by my newest obsession, Hammers. I don't feel like a slayer. I just feel like a bruiser. Like I'm just hitting meat with a hammer. And is that not what you're doing? Like, just listen to this. Yeah. Just meaty. I don't know why I found it so amusing, but the idea of bruising a monster in a submission with meaty wax followed by chuckles made me want to avoid every other weapon. Wow. I can't get over how much I just love bruising monsters. Like, it's just a matter... 
I'm going to keep it real what you meet. It's not safe for you right now. <laughs> Until I figured out that it wasn't just a hammer, it was also a shotgun and a broomstick made for crushing, blasting, and flying with this clown of a scarn we fought a couple hours in being the perfect test subject. Shots I love it. Hammer. I love it how there's even a cocking sound. Like, look. You ready? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, the Gears of War reload is so neat though if you can time it. And this guy just gets crushed every time we're all with heavy weapons god damn yeah i'm gonna do all four you ready all four yes i got it and i was invincible oh i thought we killed it god you're bashing his head so hard i love how we we can just voluntarily choose anyone we want we just pick the biggest clown of a behemoth Oh god. Da, 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 da. Uh oh, angry clown. Angry. Oh, no, no, no. That was the bigger <laughs> one. He heard you Don't call mind. him a clown and he's like, Don't nah, bro. Me. Oh, he just kicked. Fuck. Still by far my favorite monster. Just the yeah. absolute clown of the group. Oh, no, no. I love the Skarn too. He's just such a clown, but he's so meaty. He's so sturdy. It's like punching a whale with your bare hands. Like, you know that you can eventually kill it, but it's gonna take you so long. Afterwards, we unfortunately learned of Floop's drinking problem that I can only describe as unbelievable. Chug, yeah. chug, 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 on, chug. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, yes. To which I countered with my superior emotes from the Elite Hunt Pass. Life is an abstract kind of pain. <laughs> God, it's so good. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, your fucking jawline just makes it better. The basic version of the Hunt Pass is free. The Elite Track you can pay for to get yourself emotes, skins, flares, and much more to collect as you level up and keep your character as sharp as a throwing knife. The light has gone out of my life. I do not enjoy anything anymore. <laughs> I wish these knives would stab me. I'm not gonna pull a charging handle and tell you what to do, but if you do end up getting anything, please use the Russian Badger as your supporter creator code, because it directly supports me, and I'd appreciate it if you do all that for a drop of clout. Buys the oh, hunt now pass you don't once. Listen to the Beatles. <laughs> Buys the hunt. And before you ask, the drinking emote is not part of the hunt pass. You gotta buy it separately, much to Grouse's audible dismay. But is it in the battle pass? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Once the screaming stopped, we solidified our bond by forming a guild, which I forced everybody else to join because I thought mine sounded better than Grouse's and was limited to 15 letters. What is the name of your guild again? Ballin' and can't get a hook. <laughs> yeah, Badgers Hell Across yeah. America. <laughs> Why is your tag Ball is balling. That was followed by 20 minutes of uninterrupted bullying of the non-player characters for being in better shape and better educated than us. He's literally sculpted. Those aren't his real arms. Dude, he's made out of stone. Fit, but that's it. And then you look at her in real life. Oh my god. Tree trunks hanging off his shoulder. This is a real she's life. such a knuckle Slow. dragger. Look at that. Come look at fucking Mr. Liberal Arts degree over here. Until we finally wandered our asses back into battle against the Shrike, which I can't help but call an owlbear. They made him even more adorable. I can see you're already getting your ass kicked by the owlbear. Well, with good reason. The owlbear is extremely scary. No, he's a fuzzball. Uh-oh, angry, angry owlbear. Angry! <laughs> wow, good Pitching. hit. Who's slapping his shit? After his untimely demise, the whole squad recuperated in the only way we know how, in a secret spot underneath Ramsgate. An oasis of stupid juice. Oh, well, I wonder how we get source. back here. Discord.gg forward slash badger. Just an unending lake of dumb bitch juice. <laughs> Just <laughs> rest perfectly on one? my face. Can we do a timed one? Your face was literally created by the gods to be able to catch, like, rainwater. Bloop carried us for the rest of the night because we were on brand new accounts that we started from scratch, and the monsters were way out of our league. So it was mainly watching a man bouncing an axe off of a screaming dinosaur hundreds of meters away. Bouncing your axe off of him repeatedly. Oh, yeah. My specialty is tenderizing meat. Me. Yeah, you so did finally. it. We hey. crushed the lock. And you want to know what the shit of it is? I played this whole day without getting good with the hammer. Like, even by the end of the play session, I was still confusingly terrible. E. 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 I had no idea how to Aether Slam until the next day. Okay, look, look, look. 
One, two, three, and Aether Slam! I didn't learn how to interrupt until the next day, which is where you right click and dump a concussive shotgun blast into the face of a behemoth. Sunshine, sunshine, there it is, and I flip him onto the ground, hit him once, hit him again, hit him again, and boom, baby! I tell you what, there is nothing more satisfying than a disrupting crunch that's perfectly timed. The faster they're going, the farther they slide. And... Netherites! There it is! I don't know why I missed all of these sunshine signals. Like, it's right above their heads. Why did I miss that yesterday? I was beating behemoth meat all day. It was like seven straight hours of crushing beast after beast, and I was not stopping for breaks. You know, when you think about it, isn't every shotgun a hammer? Because you can just slap somebody over the head with a shotgun, and it becomes a hammer. But a hammer isn't always a shotgun, because a hammer can't just randomly start busting shell. I rode the momentum all the way to beating the trials mode, which is basically the end game of Dauntless where you fight Nizaga, who is not only an electric pain in the ass to begin with, but has the abilities of like 10 other behemoths roll up into one. I mean this in the most respectful way possible. Fuck the Nizaga. Absolute bane of my existence, and I wish his dumbass face and dumbass string bean shocky sticks would burn in a fiery Balrog tomb for all of eternity. You better be a double black diamond top tier expert slayer, or you're gonna get your shit slapped, because there are no revives, no respawns, and no mercy. But if you do end up beating it, you're handsomely rewarded with gilded marks that allow you to buy some awfully powerful loot from Lady Luck. So, how do you like your odds? Slayer. And if you beat it with blazing speed, you may even find yourself in the trials leaderboard. To put it briefly, there are some extremely skilled players out there, and they all love guns. Yeah, everybody loves repeaters. Look at those. One, two, three, four, five, six. So s eight. No. No, seven. Seven out of the top ten spots are all repeaters, and the number one is a dude with Chinese characters in his name that's just a Chad with an axe. That's great. So in closing, the lesson learned, friends are always good to have. But it takes playing on your own to determine whether or not you're a complete shitter that should start carrying his fucking weight. The end. Real badger? I love how this guy's asking if I'm the real badger and you're just chugging your asses off over here. Great influence. <laughs> He must know it's us now. He has to know. God. Your backup. Your backup. This is the is very just... best energy. You're both. I'm being flanked by two dudes drinking out of giant barrels, and I'm t posing and jigging at the same time. He's got to know it's me. He has to know. Oh, he. Oh, we did it in yeah. sync finally. Fuck yes. I hate you guys. I'm gonna feed you to an owl bear. And that is about it. Sorry if that was a little bit startling. I just. Do that sort of thing. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you to Dauntless for sponsoring this video. Once again, you can play the game for free via the link below. And be sure to tune in next time when Floop gets... You see that? Any words in my brain following the word Floop just don't connect because Floop is so weird. <clears throat> be sure to tune in next time when Floop gets the Medal of Honor. <laughs>